Hey guys, this is Brian Kerr, and welcome back to NASCAR Twin Living New Game for another night race. Yeah. For race 2536, the running of the Avocare 500. Like, fuck if I remember. I mean, this is 2010. I don't remember the past all too well, but then again, I did every win video that is all about most of the people from the past. Whatever. I mean, we're gonna get this race underway. The paint scheme I will be using for this race will be the uh, the Army car. Oops, wrong one. So I was doing a practice run, and one of my practice runs, a car went upside down and exploded. So hopefully, in the race, nothing bad will happen. So we're going to go right into crew mode and uh, get this, uh, this, this shit underway. All right, last race was at Bristol, and I ended up winning that race. Casey King did get second. Yeah, I know. It, it's weird for this game, but um, I'm recording this right after I'm doing the Bristol one. So obviously, the Bristol one is not up, but you will see these eventually, so... This is past what I'm talking, so. Um, you know, running a race this race is Atlanta. 16 laps, very hard, standard awful on, you know, whatever. This, whatever on the screen, same format as always. Jeff Gordon's on the pole. I mean, who, who the hell else would be on the pole? It's almost Jeff Gordon or, or the Hendrick, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon show every goddamn race. So we're going to skip. And no assists. And uh, I'll be back when this loading screen freaking stops. All right, I finally loaded, and this guy is freaking hot. I should have done this last race at freaking Bristol. Turn that fucking TV down. Because then, when I do the power of syncing up, you'll hear a fucking echo, and then it's just unprofessional. And then, then it makes me cry. So, as you can see, it's not really a night race. It's like a dusk race. Not dusk till dawn. That would be pretty cool. Like, the driver gets out of victory lane, he has a cock gun. That would be awesome. But that's not the case. This is not the same freaking thing. So we're about to get this race going. Jeff Brown will take us down to the green flag. Get ready. And green flag is out. We're underway for 16 laps. So what if I'm referring to myself in third person here? Please, please, let's just, you know, take it as it goes and wait till they go to the freaking trial because they slow down more than any part of the track. And you would think I'll be making that up, but no, they do. They just kind of stop. And already in less than a lap, I already gained eight spots. Now let's see if they, if this my, if my hypothesis will be put to the test. Will they all slow up? Huh? Yeah, yeah, they do. Not as much as as in in, in the past, but they did. And I don't know who it was in front of me. Marcus Ambrose. Marcus Ambrose. Who is that? David Reagan. Oh God, that's a really funky camera. Look at that. Ew. So, yeah, we're just uh, we're mowing, mowing through this field like Russell Phillips did that catch fence. I know, that's fucked up. But then, at this point, you should know what, what my videos are is a, bunch of, is a bunch of burnt toast shit. So, <laughs> nothing new. Nothing new for me to say. That. Yeah, and then, I don't know. Yeah, Jeff Gordon's just pulling away, clean air, you know, blah, blah, blah. And look at that. Look at Biffle trying to make a move on the outside. Look at that. It's cute. Oh god. <laughs> so we're gonna throw the car into three, but I'm not gonna risk it. I don't wanna get three wide and do something stupid, but on this game, I don't know what it is. I do like the way Atlanta drives on this game. Obviously it's not like how it is in real life, even for twenty ten, because at the point the track was wearing quite a bit and everything. And then inside line of the future games kind of uh, replicated uh the way Jeff Gore and Jimmy Johnson raced at the end of this at the end of the Atlanta race in twenty eleven, but that epic fucking battle of just pure driving skill and their tires were just shot to shit and Gordon and Johnson were just racing like that was that was fucking awesome because it just really goes to showcase like how good these drivers are and it was so amazing to watch that live and again I wasn't even a big oh I mean I wasn't really I'm not really a big Jimmy fan but I can appreciate and respect his driving talents Jeff Gordon won that race that was cool oh god <laughs> As you saw, I just nipped the side of Dale Jr. there as I was trying to get by him. Just got the little corner a little bent up, but it's not too bad. And of course, I hit my Messiah Jesus Dale Jr., so that's... Ugh. You know, you know what's funny? I always, I always talk about Jr. positive light. Let's bring up a negative light. I linked him a video on Twitter like a long time ago when I just up, when I posted the everyone video for his wins and his dad's, and he never responded. You know, people, awesome people, like Mark Marin acknowledged me. Jeff Byrne was like, no, that's cool. Mayfield, even, Jeremy Mayfield literally commented on my video. 
but not the Messiah God Dale Jr. And I love you. And you won't even acknowledge my existence. Senpai did not notice me, okay? And it fucking sucks, alright? <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's shit. So, we're almost about halfway through this race. I'm already up into, what, 13th place? 15th place? I, I can't even count. Tony Stewart, please don't touch him. Don't touch him. Alright. Good. Uh, I might, this might be like a repeat of the spring race where I'm just... I, I do have a faster car, just I... I just don't have enough time to catch these, to, to run down the leader if I even do, I don't even think so. These guys are actually relatively spread out, so they're not actually brake checking. It seems like their pace is very meh, but when they're like in a big wad of cars, they just slow up so much. But, uh, I don't know. And also the draft of this track. It, it, I mean, it, in other tracks it is prevalent, but here it just it feels like it's more. It could be just me, just throwing out a theory or just an opinion that may just be wrong, but... It does feel like the aerodynamics when you are behind a car and stuff, it does it does push the car a lot more than it does at other tracks, it feels like. It could be just me. Yeah, we're just kind of all, all alone here. This is kind of sad. I got the fastest lap time now. That's, that's kind of cool. I'm trying to catch Mark Martin here, but the freaking draft is just killing me. So I'm trying to, like, get a little... Get a little... Little sniff of air. And watch me get a bloody nose now because I sniff too hard. Because it's happened to me before where I sniff really, really hard and I just start bleeding. Obviously, this won't be on YouTube then if I start bleeding because YouTube's ter uh, terms of service or whatever guidelines are just like, yeah, can't have blood. Can't have blood. But we can't have, like, legit fucking sex on here. And that doesn't get censored. But that doesn't get taken down. Good job, YouTube. So, we're still in 12th here. I'm trying to get around Mark Marn, but it's just it's not really working out. But, you know, we finally get a run on him. About to pass him for 11th. And he just brake checked. I don't know. I guess he just realized, you know, hey, this this guy is about to pass me. Just let him go. I mean, he's he, just let him go. So thank you, Jeff Gordon. Well, yet again, is just is that really pulling? Well, I mean, you can kind of see him. He does have a, actually a pretty decent lead. Most of these cars are kind of spread out to maybe about half a second. <gasps> yes, I have a shot. <laughs> I have a shot. Every shot to win this race now. Thank you, those fucking gods. And thank you, Biffle, for wrecking. Thank you. I, you know what? That's cool. Thank you, Bill Elliott, Trevor Bain. Thank, I, good job killing him. <laughs> thank you, Biffle. <laughs> I have a shot to win this race. I can fucking do this. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of laps left to go, but we're gonna be. They're gonna be all bunched together. It's a big Bukaki. Damn, I'm gonna try to just go through all of them. <laughs> so I have about four laps left to go. I'm in 11th spot. I really don't think I was even gonna get a chance to get a top five even. So maybe, just maybe, with this blessing of a caution, I can just fucking win this race. That would be amazing. That would be unbelievable. I really didn't expect to even have a shot. So this is our this is our gift from above, or a gift from any sort of. God, or religious thing or anti-religious belief? How about flying spaghetti monster? How about that? I'll be that's more colloquially legally of the Bailey. So we're in third place. Now a couple laps left to go. I I don't think I have a shot to win this race. It's gonna be a little bit too late unless Hamlin starts racing Gore and then those two will slow each other down, but. Their pace is just okay enough. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch them. Which is, it's a shame, because I thought I had a shot to win, but... I went from 11 to 3rd in a few laps, so that's, you know, that's, you know, something. I'm trying to gain as much as I can, but I'm only gaining, like, a few tenths. Pushing the car a little bit too hard, sliding up the track. Unless Hamlin races Gordon and slows them down to, like, nearly a second, I, there's no way I can win this race, but... Hey, maybe Hamlin can win, instead of Gordon, because... Gordon's won every damn race in the season, it feels like. Or he's won a lot, it feels like. No, nope, he's just going to choke it away. Good job, Hamlin. Choke that race away. Like he did in a real-life 2010 Phoenix race, even though that wasn't really his fault. That was more like fuel strategy. White flags out, final time. Jeff Gordon is still going to end up winning this race, it looks like. Hamlin is kind of catching him. I'm kind of catching Hamlin again. I do have the pace. I do have a little bit of a faster car, but it's just not going to be enough. Not enough time. Hey, a third place finish is still better than what I was in the spring. I think I was fourth, so I mean, I improved one spot. That caution pretty much 
gave me this top five. So I like to thank Bibble for dying, and I ended up getting third. Again, Gorn did gain on me a little bit in points, but it's not going to really obviously bother me much of anything. The only race that is going to bother me in the chase is when we get to uh, Atlanta. Not Atlanta. I'm so, I'm so stupid. The only race I am worried about is Auto Club because I'm just, they're just way too fast there. I can even get outside the top 10, so. And I don't know what the hell that was. I guess Newman's pissed that he didn't win. He pulled a Kyle Bush where he doesn't win the Xfinity race. And he's like, I can't win, man. I can't beat the fucking, the freaking, tell it, the freaking baby league, man. Baby league. <laughs> Well, anyways, Mark Martin got top 10, so that's always something. Uh, Matt Ken's got 7. That's the second consecutive top 10. Vickers, 10th. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. Stuart got 14th after starting 8th. Uh, where is Lugano? Lugano got 15th. Oh, well. So, points-wise, I, I think the chase is set. I mean, there's... I, I, just... You did do... You wait. You did you wait. So, some of the positions changed a little bit in the back, but most of it's kind of set. Uh, looks like uh, Biffle is gonna, you know, get in the chase. Nice job. Even though I already knew that, but it's just always cool. So, that's really uh, just about it. Um, Mark gained the spot. Now it's, he had Lagano, so I hope he, hope he, I hope Mark beats Lagano points. I, I hope so. Please. Okay, please. So, I don't care about Junior. Junior sucked in 2010, it doesn't matter, but please, Mark. So, that's about it for Atlanta. It was a pretty solid race. Um, I didn't hit the wall. Um, maybe I could have drove the track a little bit better, but I don't really think I could have. I mean, I, it wasn't like I hit the, the the banking or anything. I pushed the car in one corner. I did push the car in one corner, but even if I didn't, I probably wouldn't have caught Hamlin regardless. So third place was where was uh, where it was going to be at the end there. Uh, that caution was just a blessing because I probably wouldn't have gotten the top five because I was way too far back. They did not break check as much as I would have thought in the first lap. So, eh, that was that. So, next race would be at Richmond. This would be the final race before the cutoff for the very first race at Chase at New Hampshire. Hampshire? I said Chase. Am I Sean Connery now? What the f... Anyways, this is What If. I hope you enjoyed. And if you enjoyed the video and all that stuff, then let me know. Just let me know. I always appreciate the love, feedback, and support all of you give me in any way, shape, or form. So I always appreciate it. This is, you know, your your commentator, what if. And I'll see you all later. So have a good day, everyone.